And all that is is an anchor, a trigger. Now, I'd like to show you some ways to help change that. And the best way we could do that is select somebody who has a major phobia. And so I've scoured this group before we started, and I found a woman who has a major phobia. And her phobia is for snakes. So she's been willing to stretch and go for it here. <laughs> she's a little afraid, as some of you have been seeing here earlier. And we're going to bring her up here and work with her. Would you invite Pat up here? Great. How are you? OK. OK. <laughs> OK. Now, here's the key with doing work. If we want to help someone to change how they feel about something, it's very easy. We can change the way they picture things. We can change the distance. We can change the location. And they're going to change how they feel. When she thinks about snakes, I'm sure she represents it in a certain way. So we have to get her to disassociate. And there's a specific technique that we do to help people disassociate. First of all, we have something for you to see. Can we bring that thing forward that's for her to see here? Bring it a little closer to her. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, your phobia is real heavy, isn't it? <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> OK, OK, we've demonstrated your phobia fine. <laughs> OK, now first she's laughing. <laughs> but take a look uh, at her eyes. Take a good look at her body. OK, would you stand up for me? And how do you feel right now? Um, upset and nervous and afraid. OK, you don't have to cry. OK. I didn't do this to make you unhappy. I just wanted you to so that you could see the difference and they could see the difference. Now, look at the way she's holding it. Hmm. How is she able to do that? I don't know. That's a... Would you like to know? Sure. OK, great. So here's what I want you to do. Turn towards, come over here on this side for a second. Okay. Right here, like this. What I want you to do is forget about snakes for a second, because okay. I don't want to talk to you about snakes. No, right. she goes, OK, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Has there ever been a time in your life when you felt especially strong? Yes. Show me how you stand when you're especially strong. Great. And as she stands that way, what I'm going to do is reach over and touch her shoulder in a certain way. Now, uh, you remember how you breathe when you feel especially strong? Yes. OK. And I touch her shoulder right when she's breathing that way. What I'm creating is an anchor here. Now, what do you say to yourself when you feel really especially strong? I'm hot. You're hot. <laughs> good, good. And how does that feel when you're hot? Great, ecstatic, Great. light. Okay. Good, good. Have you ever laughed hysterically? Yes. OK, I mean, where you were laughing not out of fear, but because it was fun? Right. We've got her to laugh, and while she's laughing, we're touching her in a certain way, over and over again, like Ivan Pavlov and the dogs. So now she's not laughing, and I go, and you see she starts to laugh again. I can touch her here, and she feels those feelings again. In fact, you can see where her body goes, OK? So what I've done is just got her to feel a certain way and do what she can do for herself. Touch her in a certain way at that moment, so I can touch her and make her feel that way. Can you feel what happens yeah. when I touch her there? What, yeah, what do you feel? absolutely. I just automatically feel lighter, okay. just like at peace. And by the way, when she says lighter and at peace, can you also see the lighter and at peace? <laughs> <laughs> it's like determination, right? The same kind of state. OK, now here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to close your eyes. I'd like you to imagine that you've just gone to the most beautiful theater of your life. Mm -hmm. And I want you to sit down in this chair as you sit down in that theater and make it a really enjoyable, comfortable theater. And make it be a huge screen way out there in front of you. And then I want you to feel as if you're floating out of your body. Now, why am I having her float out of her body? Because I want her to disassociate. I don't want her to be where she feels anything. I want her to full, pull away from that, step out of the picture. So I want you to, to float out of your body and float up into the control room. And I want you to look down from the control room and see your body down there, sitting in that chair. Can you see yourself? Mm -hmm. Good. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And while you're sitting yourself down there, way over there, and you see your body sitting there, watch yourself down there and watch yourself watch the screen. In other words, you're not watching the screen. You're mm -hmm. watching yourself who's watching the screen way over there. Mm -hmm. And on the screen, I want you to put a moment in time when you may have first become afraid of snakes back then. Without feeling anything, just see what you may have seen back then or anything that represents that fear of snakes. Mm -hmm. And you don't feel anything because you're floating mm -hmm. up here, feeling really comfortable up here in top in the booth. Right, where they show the films. Mm -hmm. And you see your body down there, and you're watching your body, which is watching the screen. 
And on the mm -hmm. screen, you see that most fearful moment. Put the most fearful moment you ever had with snakes mm -hmm. or the biggest fear you ever had about them. But don't feel anything. You're just watching yourself watch it mm -hmm. frozen on the screen. Mm -hmm. And how does it feel to see that fearful moment way over there through the eyes that you're seeing watching yourself watch it? How do you feel? Really fine. Just fine. Yeah. So what have we done here? We've not just disassociated her. If she was just watching it, she'd be disassociated. We got her watching herself watch it. We call that an NLP double disassociation. She's disassociated twice, so she doesn't feel it. If she was just watching it, she may have had feelings. But you feel how right now as you see that terrible moment way over there? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Fine. Just fine. And you can see she's very calm. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to watch yourself watch that screen, and I want you to watch that movie get played, or the most fearful thing that ever happened. Mm -hmm. But as you're doing it, I want you to watch it from this feeling of knowing you're totally in control, that you're the source of all your feelings and behaviors, and that no snake's going to harm you because you're in charge. Now, if there was a dangerous snake, you'd pay attention. But if it's not a dangerous snake, if it's the kind of snake that was here, you can see up on the screen, think of the worst thing that could happen up there, but don't feel it, and watch that movie of what could happen, but operate from this level of knowing you'll do what's necessary to remain healthy. And if it's nothing to be afraid of, then you can enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Good. And I want you to watch that fearful image you had, the fearful movie. Run it by backwards, just like we did earlier, mm -hmm. really fast. Mm -hmm. And change the colors to your favorite colors. Mm -hmm. And change the focus. Mm -hmm. And change it so the snake starts talking to you and says, God, I'm more scared of you than you are of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it says, I just jerk around because I'm afraid. Please hold me softly. Mm -hmm. And I like to climb around because that means I love you. If I didn't care, I'd just remain still, but I like to move around, so just support me when I move around. And how does it feel as you listen to that snake say that to you? It's like comical. It's funny. It's funny. Yeah. Great. And imagine touching the snake. And what's your favorite texture in the whole world? Um... See. Smooth things or rough things? or uh, Like a mohair sweater. A mohair sweater. Mm -hmm. Great. And what does that feel like when you have a mohair sweater? It's soft and cuddly and feels great on the skin. Feel the snake come across you and feel as if it's a mohair that got shaved. <laughs> 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 and it got shaved and so now it's smooth. And how does it feel? It rubs across your body and you know it's shaved mohair. That's great. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Good. And then what I want you to do is I want you to notice two things that you now know about snakes that you hadn't thought of before that now allow you to be able to hold a snake comfortably and not be afraid. Especially if you know it's not a dangerous one. It's not a rattler and it's not, you know, it's not a dangerous snake in right. any way. Because you want to pay attention. If it's a right. dangerous snake, you want to protect yourself. That's right. smart. But if it's not a dangerous snake, what is it you now know about snakes that you hadn't thought about much before that allows you to be able to be comfortable and hold them? Um... We were supposedly came originally from snakes and reptiles. <laughs> you don't know if you believe that or not, but right. what the heck, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Right. Now, what else do you think about snakes now? Um, that they actually make good pets, house pets. Yeah. And there are a lot of people that swear by them, don't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. It's true. Good. And what's most important to you in your life? Um, that uh, people are happy around me. Correct. And would you think it would make people around you happy if you felt more confident around their pets? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. So now I want you to imagine that you step into your body back there. You come out of the, this little part up here where we're showing the film. You mm -hmm. float down into your body. Mm -hmm. Are you in your body now? Yes, I am. Sitting comfortably? Yes, I am. Do you feel the confidence and strength that's yours? Yes, I do. Do, 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 <laughs> do. Okay, good, good. And now what I want you to do is imagine that you just reached up, go up to the screen, Mm -hmm. and take the snake right off the screen. Mm -hmm. And make it a huge snake. Mm -hmm. And smile as this huge snake wraps around and as he moves across you and so forth, it feels good. And you think, oh, God, this felt weird at first, but now I know it's shaved mohair. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It feels really good. And you look at the snake, and when his tongue flickers out at you, you know, he's saying, I just, I'm a little bit scared. Please support me. Mm -hmm. And how does that feel as he starts wrapping around you? Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. And how would you make it feel good if you can make it feel good now? Uh, what would you do? What would you say to yourself, or what would you picture? Um, I'd sing to the snake. What would you sing to it? I'd sing, um, happy days are here again. Okay. So, <laughs> hold the snake in front of you and sing to his face. Yeah. Go ahead. Happy, happy days, days are here again. again. Look at him looking at you. Da, 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 moving around, da, 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 da. And enjoy it. Da, 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 da. <laughs>
<laughs> and he's laughing. <laughs> Good. And now, as you feel these feelings, and sometimes new feelings feel a little bit weird at first, but if they weren't weird, what would they be instead? Uh, just okay. Okay. And good. And how do you feel about the idea of holding a snake now? Um, I think I could do it. Okay. And what would happen if you were positively excited about it? Um, I'd have fun doing it. Yeah. What would your face look like if you were going to have fun doing it? <laughs> good. Great. I'm going to open your eyes and look at that snake over there. And how do you feel as you look at the snake over there? I, I actually feel okay. Okay. And he, as he comes closer, feel even better. With each step that she comes closer, feel even better. And think about happy days are here again. In fact, she can show you how to hold one properly. Okay. Just kind of let him hold you. Okay. Like this? They're arboreal, so they like to go up. So uh -huh. if it goes up around your neck, it just means he wants to go up. Okay. Let his tail hold you. Can I sing? Go ahead, sing. Go ahead and sing to him. Happy days are here again. <laughs> la, 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 la. La, da, 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 da. Happy days are here again. I can't believe this. I got the phone I can't, I really can't believe this. This have you ever amazing. had an experience like this? No, no, I never have. I've, just, I've never even touched a snake before. This is amazing. How do you feel right now? I feel fine. Actually fine. It's exciting. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. L like Shea Mohair. <laughs> <laughs> now let me ask you a question. What, um, when you think about snakes right now, what do you associate? Um, actually, um, you know, overcoming my barriers and having a good time. And how long had you had this fear of phobia? 34 years. 34 years. And how long did it take to change this? Um, how about long have we been doing this? 10 minutes. Yeah, it's tough to create change, you know? <laughs> now, what this do we is do? amazing, really amazing. All we did is once she thinks snakes now, she has different sensations, different physiologies. I got her to laugh and feel pride. I touch her and feel pride while she's thinking about snakes. Now when she thinks about snakes, she has a certain amount of determination. She has a certain amount of laughter, a certain amount of humor. She sings to them. So I've associated those feelings to snakes. So now she goes into a different state when she thinks of snakes. Her other state was almost crying. Does she look like she's almost crying now? Amazing. It's amazing. So, really amazing. So you can do this with anything. If there's any area in your life at all where you feel stopped, where you feel immobilized, you can just change your associations. You can associate a series of very positive things and then look at a snake and do them. Now, if it's a phobia, though, it won't be enough. Do you see the difference? If it's a phobia, you won't want to go straight to the snake and just snap your fingers. What you want to do is close your eyes, go to a movie theater, see yourself sitting down, float out of your body, and up on the screen, play this thing you're afraid of, watch yourself making the changes, and then begin to reassociate to it. Give her a hand. Thank you. You can take it on over. Amazing. <laughs> okay. So what did we just do with Pat that allowed her to overcome a 34-year phobia in a matter of minutes? It was actually pretty simple, and it's something you can do very easily. First thing we did is we wanted to make sure we could keep Pat in a good state, especially if she started to get afraid of the snake. So we created first a positive anchor. Step two, we need to do something in NLP we call double disassociation. In essence, in sitting in the theater, I had her put her fear up on the screen, so it was away from her. She was disassociated from it, but I didn't stop there. I then had her feel like she was floating out of her body, and go up into the control room or the film room. And up there, I had her look at herself watching herself on the screen. So she was seeing herself, see herself, watch the situation on the screen. She was disassociated twice or double disassociated. Then step three, I had her change the way she was representing snakes. I got her to associate to certain kinds of feelings that she really liked, like mohair. And I got her to start thinking of snakes in a new way. I said, after all, snakes are just like shaved mohair. And then the last step was I continued to touch